Hey guys, Harry here. I'm doing a little voiceover. Uh, the remainder of the footage we got from Creamy Band Lift Part 2. Um, there's going to be a quite a few parts this video, and as will all the sort of plot videos. Um, you know, I don't know if I'm going to label them up by plot names, or I'm going to label them up by, you know, lifts. I'll probably label them up by lifts. Um, obviously people call different lifts, you know, obviously... Um, have a different names depending on where you are in the country so you know i call these the i call the joist lift basically a band lift uh because it's like a band of gold um you know you know i'd say i'd call you know like squaring up a uh squaring up to four i'd say you know that's like a murder lift in a sense murders your money um it's the shit it's lift to be quite honest uh, and then obviously you've got your ground floor ground floor or you some people call it a first lift but it's like a ground floor um build and then you've got your then you've got basically this is classed as a third as a, a your third lift basically you want your square to wall plate or some people call it a fourth lift uh it, yeah it just depends really so i don't know what i'm going to title my videos so far because obviously i've been doing loads and loads of housing on youtube um uh i just you know come up with a different name every time um cutting obviously if you noticed a lot of the cuts in this video i'm just trying to cut out I do was working with me, he didn't want to be filmed, so that's fair enough to him. Um, you know, he said, you know, he might he might not be bothered, you know, he, uh, went further down the line if he sticks at it. So, we do still doing a few trial days with a couple of lads, you know, a few guys that just do it, you know, situations where they just want to do one or two days a week, one day a week. So, I said, that's fine. I just, you know, uh, I'm basically weighing up who really wants to do it and who doesn't. Uh, because there, there is sort of a, I've had quite a lot of applications, but you know, not a lot of guys are suited to what I'm looking for, um, you know, and it depends how I get on with you as well, because if you're a weirdo, I'm probably not going to fucking, you know, have you work with us, uh, you know, you've got to be chilled out like me, I don't want anyone who stresses me out, you know, I had, uh, I've had people like that in the past and it's not good, so I am being a bit pickier this time, obviously. Uh, Jamie before sound lad, you know, I said I'd have him back again if he wanted to ever try it again But you know, he's gone. So, you know, we're trying to find someone to replace uh, and I'm just trying to do a bit of a better job at you know, at easing my way into it because um, End of the day, you know, you do have to I do have to work a little bit harder whenever a labor a proper labor with me a proper hoodie You know, my old man just helps me end of the day. He's not like a proper hoodie um, I have to work a little bit harder, uh, you know to cover wages um, the work's bang on at the moment, so you know I, I don't I don't struggle with the money wise, but you know um, I have to work a little bit harder thinking and you know teaching them how to do stuff and asking them to do this this and that. Whereas the old man he just sort of kind of knows what to do. He doesn't always do it, <laughs> but um, I don't. I sometimes have to tell him a few things, but you know he's pretty clued up really. The old man, and he, you know he's steady, so I, you know I can easily work around him. You know if I need to get my own muck or I need to knock the muck up for him to scoop out onto the boards. I'm gonna do so, but we like a hog carrier. I expect, I expect what I'm paying that you know they do it all for me, and uh, you know is it is a difficult one. You know it's difficult, um, you know managing people. You know I'm not one of these who likes to shout fucking orders. I hate it to be quite honest. I hate going. Oh, I need this, I need that. I'm not one of those. To, it's just not in my nature. But I'm in a position to be honest where I have to ask, I have to do this. I am, you know, I am teaching people in a sense. I, I need hog carrier to get in my gear when I need it and. It's just one of the things you got to do. Some people love it. Some people love shouting orders at people all day. They just thr thrive off it. But it's not me. So I like someone who I can just teach. And then they know I don't have to keep fucking pestering them for stuff. Um, you know, it makes me more comfortable. It makes me quicker. It makes them quicker. And, you know, it makes their life more comfortable. So, you know, I prefer that. I prefer that I'm not, you know, want to be shouting and roping on the scaffold. Um, uh, as well, you know, when it... I've had, obviously I've had now t t you know I've done my second week um starting my third week on Tuesday when I'm I'm gonna load up at the, obviously there's no mortar till the p.m so you know I'm going in to load up I'm gonna load the full lift out uh, load three packs of bricks um gable and back and front I'm gonna be loading all the blocks basically a whole fucking lift so um the old man hasn't got anything to lift he only has to w look after me with mortar and pointing uh, but pointing isn't even an issue, he's just doing perps really. And what we tend to do is, you know, he does all the perps. 
all the way along and then he fills in any holes where there's like gaps in the beds and then at the end we just strike the beds together you know brush it off you know um just before we finish you know it's only only takes me it's only a 10 minute job for me but you know old man takes him quite a long time so i try to help him out where he, where i can you know he, you know especially with the old man you know he's good at some stuff and he you know he's a lot slower at others so i've got to really focus on what i sort of give him to do you know but you know he's going you know he'll be back uh, doing his two days a week um next week uh which he likes and then hopefully if you know one of the lads you know starts full time uh you know we'll have my dad doing two days every week and instead of you know he's currently doing three and a half he's having to do at the moment um because he goes early on a friday and to be quite honest i've been going early with him um sometimes i'll work a bit longer uh do a full day on a friday but you know on the plots and stuff you know a lot more work to go out more straighter runs you know boundary walls you know you're scratching and you're scratching a lot of time a lot of the time you know when i was doing that sort of stuff and footings you know same again you you bent fucking double you know it's no good houses is where you want to be you know it's straight 50 60 70, you know 60 brick gables you know 25 course long corners and like big fucking rack backs you know there's plenty of meat and everything plenty of you know plenty of runs to make your money on so you haven't got to really work as long you haven't got to fucking do any overtime really other than you know preparation that's the biggest thing i find on housing it's just your preparations the key loading up and stuff like that um, i've not had any issues on this site with like forklift and stuff like that that's another massive reason why i work one-on-one you know you don't need as much gear i was chatting to another lad who was in the same situation as me uh it, you know looks about five or ten years older than i was maybe uh and uh he you know he says you know i'm a one and two you know i have like a lad you know uh loading out and i have a lad jointing up and stuff like that and i and he had an old lad with him and then he says he's getting an apprentice so it's the same you know he's the same boat as i am you know with the, with the one and two idea and he says you know it's best way to make money you know i never have to wait for gear because i'm never getting through it that quick and you know it's 100 percent correct that is that is the key really you know at the end of the day what makes you money on a site is the forklift and if you were mitigating the amount of gear you need every day to make your wage, it makes so much more sense. It makes so much more sense. If you only need two two or three tubs a day to make you, you make a really good fucking wage, it's, you know, you're onto, a one, you're onto a winner because every site will be able to keep up with you. Like this site in particular, there's only five or six, only five gangs, but yeah, there's two 40 drivers and, you know, when none of us are waiting for gear really, um, I've had to wait a couple of times just with bad timing with the gear and stuff, but, um, you know, because I've been doing a lot of jumping this week, I've not been left on my plot for days on end. Like, uh, like the first week I got left on my plot, I got left alone for a few days, but this, obviously, this last week just gone by, I was jumping every, every other day. So, uh, because of the, what management wanted me to do, you know, it was a bit of a ball weight, but, you know, they said to me, they came up to me, the, the main, main man, and said, you know, I appreciate what you've done here, coming onto this site, picking up all these bits of shit, and, you know, having to alter the, all these plots, and he says, you know, that you've had to take over, and I said, you know, that's fair enough, that's fair enough, like, you know, I said, uh, you know, to be quite honest, we've come from non-ideal working conditions, we've, it's a big, a bit of a big pay rise, this site, and I said, you know, I wanted to just, I've not worked for a van for a long time and I've not built these type of houses. So I said, I've, to be quite honest, I just wanted to have a week or two to get my head around everything. And it's, you know, I'm basically I've got my head around it all now. So that's what I said to him. And I said, you know, I don't want to be picking up anyone else's shit now. But I said, uh, you know, as long as I've been paid for anything, I've got to alter, you know, in the in future, if I've got to alter anything, um, you know, I don't mind getting paid for it if it needs doing. Um, but it's one of them. It's one of them. Um, I just prefer to be left alone, to be honest, on my houses, which I will be. Uh, obviously, they told me what band lift, what lift, uh, what plot I was taking over at floor next. Uh, it's one with frog bricks. So they're frog bricks, but they're a frog concrete common, obviously concrete brick again. Um, these particular bricks, I think they look. I think they look better than they wore better than the reds from what I've seen the guys laying them. Uh, they have less issues than the guys laying the uh, laying the reds. Um, but you know, you know, obviously these these dark the 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 uh, yellower bricks probably won't show the mortar stains as much. So you know, it's just 
there's ups and downs. I'm going to see how it goes. I, I, obviously, I find obviously fog bricks do pick and dip um, probably easier. They just they probably easier to pick and dip, but uh, obviously I prefer the whole bricks for for getting them down. You know, the, with the holes in, you can easily press the brick down. That's one of the things I've never had a tr problem with really with these concretes. Um, one thing as well, obviously, because I've been taking over for all these um, band lifts, these third lifts, as you would say, um, at floor, obviously, all the trays below were a lot of the time full, so I, I expect every plot I'm going to have to clean the radon tray out. He's going to pay me to do it. He's asked me what do I want for it, and um, that will come down to how long it takes me to do. Um, you know, I just charge a lot of the time, just charge an hourly rate for doing anything like that. And normally I'd give myself an extra hour than what it actually takes just for like, you know, stopping movement, you know, moving, getting blood set up back up on the next job. So I normally tend to charge an hour and a half over what it actually takes or an hour to two hours, depending um, just to for the inconvenience. Because you can't always uh, this first two week in this first two weeks, because I had alterations through both weeks, you know, I, put, I literally booked down the bare minimum because I said, you know, I've took these two, because I'm taking the plots over, you know, I've booked down just what it's took me to alter the stuff, you know, not what it's took me to load out after I've altered it, I, you know, because I was taking over the plot on price, you know, I did, I legitimately only um, uh, booked the hours it took me, so, uh, so, you know, it gets a, it gets a, you know, a grip to what I'm actually doing, you know, I'm not fucking trying to, you know, toss it off and make money out of people out of people's fuck ups like some people do like who I know um, you know it's uh, you know I can make money on price no sweat I don't need I don't need anyone's fucking day work unless uh, obviously I've got to fucking alter someone's fuck up um, but yeah so that's one thing that I'm happy about now there's everything's sort of everything that I've, everything I've took over the the, the gable at the other side on the block work I've drilled the ties that were missing I've took down the corner that had a straight joint in it had three straight joints in it and uh you know i'm on a fresh run now so i mean uh i'll be filming with some head cam on tuesday with me doing setting the profiles up um we're setting a dead man profile up to an expansion i'll be setting a uh i'll also be setting obviously profiles up for a big corner like a corner running uh with you know with the line going both ways someone left me a comment ages ago about saying how do you do that um long story short you know you just wrap the line regularly as you would normally and then you just instead of taking letting the line hang over uh to hang down like you wouldn't do off the knot off the corner block just pick that line up put it through that top that top groove and then just put it straight over the other line you know obviously it'll go over the front of the corner block which obviously on the outside of the corner block and then just pull it through to your other profile it's dead dead easy the only downside to it is obviously one line's a couple of mil higher than the other and then right where you get to the profile obviously the line's set in a little bit which doesn't matter because obviously if you as long as you put your brick to that profile you know the line's like only running out by a couple of mil out of plumb but obviously it'll be the set if it's plumb at the bottom you know it'll be plumb at the top you just got to be be wary of that extra you know couple of mil Obviously, that's it's on the inside of the of your profile as opposed to on the outside, like it is on your uh, on your on your gable side. Um, well, yeah, that's how you do it. I've thought about getting doy blocks, but to be quite honest, um, a lot of them just, just they seem a bit like to use the doy blocks. I've seen you know like uh, a couple of different makes. I know I know uh, Ox do a doy block. I know like Iron Ball do a Dory block, there's a few, there's BT Engineering, there's there's a few and I, and I find the line set up a bit awkward for Dory's, uh, I like a, just a normal corner block line set up, um, just for moving it up and down and obviously you know aluminium is not mega stable and I don't use any steel stabilizers, I just don't see the point, obviously when you've got F clamps, slip ties, like I have a big bag of slip ties now and windy and uh, slip tie covers. Uh, or Johnny's as we used to, as we call them. Uh, I've got one of those in the clamp box for when I'm setting profiles up along with the along with the um, uh, along with the the uh, drill. So you know sometimes I put a little wedge in the joint to push the profile out the bottom, or I put like slip tie in to push it out, or 
or pull it, you know, pull it in or pull it out, whatever you want to do, bottom or top. It's, it's uh, you know, I've always got those slip ties are perfect for pr pushing your profile in and out. <sighs> use tie wires, just use slip ties. They're a lot easier, flat bars, or, you know, a couple of spare pointing trowels, shove them in your box as well. You can use those, they're great for pulling your profile in and out. Perfect. and. If you've got your block work up like I have a lot of the time, as you see, that's what they want in the one in the inside joint in. Uh, apart from obviously the, this that what, what I took over, obviously. Uh, you have the ties at wrong distance apart and everything, but you know, I just had to drill in what ties that needed to go in that'd be highlighting and that's about it really, you know, there's not there wasn't much wrong with it, but it's just rough and stuff weren't really to measurement, so uh, but yeah, you know, obviously if the block, if I'm taking the block work up in general, you know, I can always use my, you know, my gable profiles with a bit of wood and stuff and a bit of tiler's lot to sprag the profile. But you know, it ain't always, uh, it ain't always, you know, it's sometimes just easier putting a flat bar behind your profile to be honest. So that's what I'm going to try and do um, most of the time. Uh, when it comes to the profile for the dead man when it comes to the, doing the uh, expansion I'm just gonna you know sprag the profile from the top with obviously the um, you know my gable profile uh, which obviously I've, I've used before I don't think I've shown much footage of me setting it up but I will I'll do some profile setups on um, on Tuesday because you'll I'm gonna video myself setting all the profiles up how I set them up um, you know how I set aluminiums up there is you know there's you know, I'm not a pro at setting them up. You know, the uh, the main main guy who I think who sort of sets them up the quickest is that Charlie Collison. You know, he just goes around setting them up like they're nothing, and uh, you know, you know, I have my own little way of setting them up. It's probably a bit rough, rough around the edges compared to some people how they set them up. But you know, I think they, they work well for me. And it, everyone has their own little method to setting profiles up. You know, it's not there isn't one way is the best way. It's just how you can easily replicate it every time, quicker, quicker and quicker. But that's the way you want to be setting profiles up. You know, you know, set. But you know, if you set Blake's up differently to say how fucking Joe sets Blake's up on the other scaffold, if you find it easier to set it up your way, or you find it easier to do it a certain way, you know, you do that way. You know, it doesn't matter if fucking whoever's doing a different method. You know, you find your way. You 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 know, you prefer to set profiles up like for my for myself you know i have gauge tape on my profiles i don't gauge my profiles up every time with marker pens and stuff i just have gauge tape and i find gauge tape easier to use i don't have to sweat about where the gauge marks are um you know i get it i try to get it as close to the main you know gauge marks as i can but obviously it has those those little marks in between which i find so easy um you know i get you know Gauge tape has been in my lifesaver for the last two years, two or three years I've been using it and it's so much better than measuring it with a tape measure. I hate, you know, I, you'll see me on these videos, you see I've hardly ever got a tape measure in my hand. Like this block where it was well eye, it was just well eye, you know, you'll see the ties sloping out towards the brick, le brick leaf, which isn't too big of a deal, you know, it might be, you can see it's a good 20, 30 mil high. And that's because he was just hard on his block work. I, obviously I, I knew my brick work was to gauge. Um, and I tried to pick it up about 10 mil, 10 or 15 mil, and it was still, you know, what was still high. So there's nothing I could do there, but, you know, it's something that, uh, it's something that, you know, you've got to be wary of if, uh, you know, with using gauge tape, you just got to, you know, sometimes you've got to check, double check and stuff like that. Silites, to be honest, you know, it doesn't matter if your silites are 10 mil, 10 or 15 mil high, you know, you just make sure when them formers go in, you know, you're matching up to them formers and, if your house is 10 to 20 mil high, it doesn't really matter. Um, what matters uh, sometimes is on some houses, you know, if you if your first lift's high to your floor, sometimes the stairs won't fit in, so you're gonna make sure that's more or less correct. When it when it's above floor, it doesn't really matter as, as long as you know every corner is the same. Uh, you know, if if one corner is 10 mil high, you know the whole house has got to go 10 mil high. You know, so. Um, but yeah, uh, but, sorry I keep cutting footage off. Oh, I'm sure I had to, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, I've I've really I've been to be quite honest, guys. You know, I've I've not been really putting loads and loads of effort into the videos. Obviously, the new site is a big 
it's a big thing for me you know obviously i don't i don't i don't jump around firms a lot you know uh I, you know i'm not used to hiring new people all the time i'm not used to doing all this sort of stuff so it's you know it's been a bit of a stressor for me having to sift through sift through applications take phone calls and all that shit i fucking hate it um you know uh, i didn't get into brick lane to be a manager or a supervisor i just i just i'm i'm a sort of uh, you know, I'm a victim of circumstance. I need a labour. I need, you know, good good lads working with me. Um, so I just have to do what I've got to do to get them. You know, so it's not what, what anything I ever aspired to do. Uh, be a super, be, you know, supervise multiple people working for me. But it's just something that I've realised. It's it's inevitable. You know, when you get to a certain level in your trade and you need people to work with you. You know, it's you know, it's something that's inevitable. You've got to do so. That is just one of them things. Um, also, you know, if you guys want to um, are interested in what I do outside of work when it comes to my hobbies and stuff, you know, I mentioned before I do, you know, power. I used to do powerlifting. Should I say I've, I've stopped in the last six months, you know, just because I've been working and focusing on this. But I'm a big gamer. I'm a big gamer. If you guys would be ever interested in, you know, watching me do some live streaming. On some of the games I play at the weekend, I might end up doing some after eight live streams, uh, after eight gaming sort of stuff. Uh, I've always been a massive gamer. I used to spend fucking absolutely hours on, you know, I used to sit for hours and hours on my computer, on my PlayStation, stuff like that. So uh, that's what I do to unwind. I'm not a big FPS guy. Uh, I have played Call of Duties and stuff. I do own them, but I just I'm more of an RPG fantasy guy. I like my relaxed games. I play a lot of Minecraft. I play a lot of, you know, uh, Kingdoms of Amalur and sort of, you know, Skyrim sort of games, you know, games like that, like relaxed RPG story based shit. So uh, I've always been a big fan of those games, uh, Borderlands, you know, Division, stuff like that. So if you're interested in, you know, watching me do some, some, uh, some live streams, whether it's on YouTube, um or through twitch you know i'll be open to doing some like that on weekends just sometimes like i love to to just fucking lose myself from reality you know i hate you know normal life's boring you know brick lane you know it's cool i, I love it you know i love doing it it's you know i enjoy getting up in the morning to go and go to work but you know it's mundane it's mundane you deal with people on site it's mundane you know the only time I'm actually enjoying myself is when I'm putting brick to wall. All the shit in between, it's a little bit boring, you know. You know, I enjoy having a laugh with the guys who are in my gang and stuff like that, like my dad or, you know, whoever's working with me at the time. It's great, but life's mundane. You know, shit's mundane, you know, dealing with people's mundane. You know, a lot of people are boring. And then gaming, you get something from it that you just can't get in, in you know, real life, you know. You can't go and slay fucking demons in the real life. You can't go and fucking cast spells and magic and shit that's what i'm into i'm into all that so if you guys would be interested in watching what i do on my weekends and uh, obviously it's so sort of, it's sort of limited in a sense because you know as as my son gets older and older you know we do more and more things on a weekend there's more and more stuff you know you know he's obviously he's at an age now where he sort of just needs entertaining all the time he, he plays with he plays with his toys he's got more toys in a sense but I don't get as much time to play on my on my PlayStation as I, as I would like, especially when I've got to edit through footage and stuff for YouTube. So, um, you know, that's why I've said sort of it's, it's by by daily uh, content or you know every three days a video or something like that. I, you know, I'm trying to keep to somewhat of a schedule, but um, it's something that over time I can't really keep up with. Uh, you know, uh, especially cut, cutting through footage like. This has took me about an hour to edit this because I, I was cutting out, you know, the lad I was working with. And uh, but in future, you know, like my old man's not bothered, so I, it, it's easier if I don't have to cut people out. So I'm gonna have a word with him, and you know, in the coming next coming weeks, you'll probably see him in in footage. Um, I've not had the, the you know, the site managers come up while I've had the GoPro on my head, and he's not ever seen, not said anything. So um, as long as I don't start wandering around the site with it, I just don't think anyone will have any issues. Um, you know, I, I, I uh, obviously I heard that you know Ch I was watching Changi he gets he's not allowed to you know film on sites, which baffles me. But you know, obviously, it must be a very weird site from for you not to be able to record your own work. Um, obviously, a lot of YouTubers don't have any problems, but 
it's just one of them, you know, it's a bit of a shame. There's just one less guy to watch, seems at the moment. All I watch is Tricky Bick, Tricky Bricky. Uh, I watch Charlie Coyson now and again. I just tend to skip through his videos because a lot of it isn't actually bricklaying. <laughs> it's a lot of him, he's just even fucking talking to his gang, uh, which I just like watching the bricklaying parts of it. Um, I used to watch Steve and Alex quite a bit, but they just tend to do snagging now all the time. They're just patching private work and stuff, so... There's, that's not really... I, I fucking hate patching. <laughs> I've done fucking tons of it and I just don't want to watch someone do it. I don't want to watch someone do brickwork out and and fucking, you know, change a lintel. Oh, God, I fucking hate doing shit like that. You know, I don't, props to him for doing it as a as a living, you know. It's fucking... Takes some fucking... You must really hate sight work to do shit like that. Fuck, the, fuck that. No way. Uh, and then, apart from that, there's not really anyone other than, other than Tricky. There's Izzy. I watch him. Obviously, he does a lot of, you know, private work as well. So, you know, it's interesting. But I, I, I prefer watching the site stuff. Obviously, it's what I do every day. So, it's more relatable than the private work stuff. Um, uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of guys who record on site. There's just not many, many of us anymore. There's like me, Tricky, um, you know, chat, uh, you know, you know, Collison, uh, there's like those three, I'm thinking of who else records on site, there's just not many, there's not many, there's a few, a few older guys, um, I'm trying to think now, I'm probably missing someone fucking massive, probably missing someone, there's surely more than that now, so yeah, you know, I've, there's a limit of site content out there, you know, there's a lot, there's, a, there's Derby Brickwork, obviously, they, they just do sort of like, uh, Okay, I mean, our work is, I know it's that neat, you know, stop showing off, you know, no one else can get trays that clean. Fucking mine aren't, mine's got crumbs in, mine all got fucking some biscuit crumbs in the bottom of mine. Uh, after this, after picking dipping on a gable, fucking hell, be some biscuit crumbs in when I've, when I've dropped the 3B2 down. <laughs> so, yeah, but uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed, you know, a bit more of a sort of candid video commentary today, I'm, just, I'm having a Budweiser. And uh, I've been playing, I've been gaming all weekend. I've really not even thought about work. Um, obviously, I, I left early on the Friday. I left at 11 o'clock. I don't know if I mentioned last video, I left about 11. So I've really been like just chilling out on these new sites and uh, not, not going as hard as, you know, not not going as hardcore. Just, you know, uh, not putting the hours in. I don't, I won't put as much as hours in, but I seem to be getting loads done. I'm just probably not wasting any time really. Uh, which I used to. I probably managed the old man a bit better as well. You know, uh, you know everything every week and every month. Like I've said in previous videos, you know, every week and every month you'll get a little bit better, no matter who you are, how how experienced you are. If you if you're actively trying to get better, you will. It'll all come in with fits and starts. I find you go through a threshold where where you get a little bit faster, or you know you you, you organize yourself a little bit more. You know, in sync. You know, everything feels a little bit more you know um just more fluid you know the day goes smoother um but obviously you know weather can play a big factor and stuff so you, you so over time you have you have multiple goes at it you know you have multiple goes at making the best out of your summers and your winters and your autumns and you know i'll be interested i'll be interested to see how it goes because i've never really recorded in winter i started in um spring doing my recording in april and then that, and you basically you're over your worst weather then, and then I've sort of worked all the way through uh, till now, which I'll be get we'll be getting back to the cold weather. You know, you'll see a little bit of dose of winter. Um, hopefully, because I'm on plots and stuff, you know, we'll have we'll not get stopped as much. You know, obviously these sites they're not as strict as some. You know, uh, Avant where I'm working, you know, I think they've always been pretty le You know, they're always were pretty lenient with stuff. Um, even years and years ago when I worked for them and, and, and they always seem pretty down to earth. Uh, I, I, even every gaffer I've come come to a van that sound, even as a Welsh lad, I remember years ago, or you, we, always, you, we always used to call him, Owen, call him Owen, but it was, that wasn't his name, it was someone else, but we always, we were Welsh, we used to go, Owen, you know, Owen's a Welsh name, so we thought, all right, we'll call him that. But, uh, you know, it's funny, it's funny, it's funny all the time. Uh, so, yeah. Um, that's all I want to really talk about. I'm gonna get back and playing some Kingdoms Ammo now. It's RPG. I've got about sixty hours on it. Um, the missus is playing. She's on Black Ops Cold War. I think she's playing multiplayer. Um, who's that? She was excited for Vanguard. You know, 
Call of Duty's, you know, they're not one of them things that hit and miss these days. We used to play Battlefield back in the day, but they're also hit and miss. Uh, I'm looking forward to Diablo 4, um, uh, Elex 2, uh, it's a fantasy RPG also. Uh, a few number of other games. Uh, is here a little, there's a little tip as well, of the expansions, what I tend to do if I haven't got a profile. Or I do this up big windows if I've got a bit if I've got a big, you know, 1350 or you know, 1500 window, you know, get a little get this is why I, I carry like four levels or five levels with me on site. Get a little get a spare little Magnuson, these are what Magnusons are made for in my opinion. Get them up get them up reveals, get them up, you know, expansions. A little little F clamp on it, doesn't have to be tight, just has to hold it there. Obviously your plum bubbles plum. Perfect. You eat straight away, you know. Uh, as you can see, I just put a little little slip tie just in a little gap up for the brick that's not touching. Boom, slip tie him, stabilize it, little, tighten up a little bit. Jobs are good in there, you know. Lovely old job, as the uh, as they say. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, I'm be I'm looking out for new channels to watch when it comes in the brick lane scene. There's just not much out there, you know. There's not many guys really on site. Uh, I know it is a big thing, you know. It's a big thing these days, obviously. Uh, I wanted to, I want to talk about a few different things next video, but I think there's a big stigma at the moment with the prices rising. That, you know, the people, you know, obviously when I started uh, in, I started uh, Brit Lane in 2010. I started Brit Lane. And it was just after the recession of 2000, 2008, and you know basically the prices were at rock bottom. Uh, when I was doing my apprenticeship, we were getting two eighty a thousand, and now we're getting six fifty. So you know you can see how I've had to learn, and I when I I didn't expect much out of Brick Lane when I first started. You know I didn't expect to be earning super super money, but you know um, as I've got as I've got out of my time and. Uh, you know into my journeyman journeyman years of my trade um it's something that where the climate's changed completely so you know i think a lot of guys have anxiety that it would go back to what it was before you know three four under the thou you know the price is dropping and stuff but i to be quite honest i can't see it in this climate there's just no bricklayers to speak of out there in the uk there's it's a hard trade, it can't be learnt overnight, it takes years and years to perfect. You know, the, the graft is real when it comes to Brick Lane, it's a marathon, not a sprint. You know, there's no fancy fucking tools, there's no, no batteries we can shove on the end of our trowels to make them go quicker. It's all old school, it's fucking Stone Age, and it's uh, it's not going to change anytime soon, you know. They were, t they were talking about Brick Lane machines fucking 10 years ago when I was in my... Uh, in college, sat in a fucking classroom, learning about electrosmosis and fucking electric, fucking damp proof courses, shit that's never been used since, you know, it's just all been used in theory. Fucking thin joint system with like a grout on blocks, I learned that in college, never used it once in my fucking life, never seen anything used like it. They were talking about brick lay machines, never seen them ever been used, they don't, they're not practical, you know, this tray is going to be around for a long time and... I think it's the best time for anyone wanting to learn it to get into it because you're going to see the highlight, the high life of the trade, you know. And if you know a recession does come, and which is inevitable, you know, there is always a cycle. But you know, um, hopefully, because of the shortage and because of the high, high skilled nature of the job, that you know, that we will not feel it as much as we did, you know, you know, in 2008, 12 years previous. So. Um, yeah, anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching, I'll put a little bit, a few tunes on for the last few minutes and uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video, um, give us a like, subscribe, you know, tell your friends about the channel if, you know, anyone's a tradesman, scaffolder, whatever, don't know what, what trade you are, you know, check it out, check it out, uh, you know, gives you something to watch on your snap. Alright guys, thanks a lot, enjoy your weekend, I'm going to have a few more, I'm going to go around to the 24 hour garage uh, near my house. And I'm getting some more fucking Budweiser's, man. Right, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one in a few days. <laughs>
I thought it was better to wallow And swallow my pride and admit That my life was feeling so hollow And I couldn't handle it So I called a couple of friends And a caring specialist And I talked to all of my problems Till they started to shrink a bit When nothing's easy But you gotta believe me You'll never truly be alone It's okay to ask for help Don't need to fix it all by yourself It's okay to find a friend To lean on and talk it out Talk it out It's okay Sad can be addicting Even when it's awful Still easier than committing To face you might be missing And do the harder work of fixing 